How's it going out there, riders? Dave Weigel here, out in beautiful Pacey Valandre in France, up in the Alps. As you can see, it's a, an amazing spot. And uh, we're here today for the launch of the 2012 BH Lynx series bikes. This is the first bike in the, in the series. It's a four inch travel cross country bike. It'll actually be being raced by, the, on the, by their World Cup athletes. So I'm uh, pretty excited about that, that the athletes have chosen to race on the bike. The bike is using uh, my split pivot suspension and I've worked really closely with BH over the last couple years to develop this platform. Um, as a lot of you are probably familiar with BH, they have been very strong on the road side of things and their ultimate hardtails have been really well received and they really wanted to try to make sure that their full suspension offerings really fell in line with the level of just how pro the, the previous products have been. And uh, so they really started from the ground up and uh, we worked together to really develop a, a bike that has a specific feel that the guys at BH are looking for and it's it's quite a bit different than uh, a lot of the 100 millimeter cross-country bikes you see on the market. Uh, as you can see, all carbon fiber frame including a press fit carbon fiber bottom bracket and headset. Uh, we use a direct mount front derailleur so it's a really stiff connection for the front derailleur. Uh, we use a floating shock mount on this particular design but it's a little different than other floating shock mounts. We're actually compressing the shock from both ends and one of the the reasons we did that uh, was first off for packaging, we have a, a shock extension on here, a little clevis, um, and we use just bolts in a stock shock, but that helped us package the bike uh, so that we could make it as light as possible. And at the same time, uh, we use a really short link. This, this is what we call the control link up top here. And uh, that really short control link lets us have a leverage ratio that's pretty progressive in the beginning of the travel uh, compared to most other four inch bikes. And packaged with the main pivot location and the levels of anti-squat and braking neutrality we've designed in, it's allowing us to run some pretty aggressive tuning on the bikes. Uh, we're actually running 150 PSI on the Fox Kashima shocks in the boost valve. It's the only bike in Europe using this level of this low of a pressure, and every other competitor bike is actually closer to 200 PSI, uh, which is just a testament to how well the bike is actually working on the trails. We're using a low velocity tune and uh, medium rebound too, which is really to suit with the air spring, but uh, what it ultimately translates to is a bike that's really, really supple on the small bumps, but at the same point accelerates like you'd expect a 100 millimeter bike to, and also has a good, good amount of mid-travel cornering support, so you can come into a corner really hot and really push the bike like a solemn bike almost. So we designed this bike to have a certain feel for cornering response and mechanical trail measurement, giving this bike a head tube angle that is uh, it's just a lot different than you would expect uh, and maybe uh, wouldn't consider originally. It's in the, in, this middle, in the 69's range. The feel is exactly what we wanted to achieve. So uh, we're going to get back out there and hit the trails, but uh, keep out there riding and you should see these on the trails in the, in the pretty near future.